Hey everyone, my name is Adam. I'm a soon-to-be DO, and today we're going to be answering a question from the Child Neurology Mock Exam. Alright, question number one. A patient is brought to the emergency room by ambulance for new onset of seizure-like activity. She has no history of seizures, but her husband, who accompanied her in the ambulance, reports that she has struggled with depression throughout her life after being abused by her stepfather. There is a serum substance that is elevated in the presence of true epileptic seizures that will help differentiate this from a psychogenic seizure. This substance is produced by which of the following cell types? The answer choices here are lactotrophs, somatotroph, corticotrophs, thyrotrophs, and gonadotrophs. So the answer here is going to be lactotrophs. Now this is one of those questions that you just have to know for boards. It's something that's gonna come up, you're probably gonna see this on step, and that's why we chose to talk about this today. So lactotrophs produce prolactin, and that's why this is an important question. This can be asked either about prolactin or the lactotroph, which is the cell. These will be elevated following an epileptic seizure, um, but not after a psychogenic seizure. Now remember, a psychogenic seizure is more of a psychiatric issue that's not a true seizure activity in the brain. Therefore, it won't cause an elevation of that prolactin. If you see a level of greater than 200 nanograms per milliliter, that's most likely a pituitary neoplasm. Otherwise, in the setting of seizure, just as this patient, you're going to want to look for that elevated prolactin, which is produced by the lactotrophs. I'm Adam. Hopefully you enjoyed this question, and we'll see you in the next one.